WKP in Cincinnati. You didn't think I knew that, did you? All right, well, we're pretty close, man. All right. I got officially 6.59. You want to go on at 7? No, at 7. Okay, your interview is coming due in 45 seconds, and we'll jump into this. Okay. All right, I'll just I'll count it down here in about 30 seconds. I'll give you plenty of time too. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's time for a football in East Texas. This is Jerry Hansen. Welcome to the Carthage High School football broadcast. Larry Allen will be providing the play-by-play. Mark Harris and Otis Amy will be describing the action, and Jason Wade will be on the sidelines. Our broadcast is brought to you in part by Prosperity Bank, Penergy, Courtney Construction, Elliott Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Hal's Air Conditioning, Pritchard and Abbott, Panola College, and XL Ford. The Bulldogs, under the direction of Coach Scott Surratt, has earned six state titles in the past 11 seasons. Can the 2019 season be another state championship run? Other sponsors for our broadcast include the First State Bank, Central Baptist Church of Carthage, Carthage Flower Shop, Panola National Bank, Carthage Furniture, Pippin Motor Company, Hudson Financial, and Farmer State Bank. Remember, you can hear all the live broadcast here on KGAS 104.3 FM, but you can also hear the game on your iPhone, iPad, computer, and Android by going to EastTexasToday.com and click Listen Now. Thanks to those sponsors who are making our broadcast possible, and they include Carthage Hardware, State Farm Agent Tate Barber, Bauer Furniture, UT Health of East Texas, Carthage, Darnell Pest Control, Quick Stop Carthage, Carthage Missionary Baptist Church, Lamar University, and Country Fresh Pizza. We'll be back with our starting lineup right after this word from Panola College. I wanted to make new friends in college and save gas money by walking to class, but I was worried the cost of living on my own would make it difficult to live on campus. Then I learned Panola College not only has an affordable tuition, it also has several housing options that cost as low as $140 per week and includes 19 meals a week. Certainly worth the price to make lasting friendships. Panola College, lowering costs for higher education. To find out more, visit panola.edu today. Now with tonight's starting lineup is your play-by-play -play announcer, Larry Allen. All right, thank you very much, Jerry Hansen. We are indeed are coming to you live from Van Memorial Stadium in Van, Texas, the opening of District 10 for a district action tonight as the Carthage Bulldogs go on the road to tackle the Van Vandals. These two teams have one common opponent uh, between them this year, that being the Gilmer Buckeyes. Carthage defeated Gilmer 24-15 in Carthage, and Van lost 41-21. 
at Gilmer. All right, we're going to take a look now at the Bulldog offense first, and we'll start on the offensive line. Now, remember last week we had four of the five interior linemen changing positions. Well, we've got it down to two this week as uh, we've got three of them in the same spot that they started the first four games. One of those is Tykees Crawford, left tackle, 6'6", 336, a senior. The left guard is Cade Johnson, 6'5", 295, a senior. Connor Davis, who has been the uh, offensive line MVP a couple of games this year already out of the five, 6'235", senior Connor Davis is at center. The right guard is T. Kellum. Remember, he was at center last week, 5'9", 333, a junior. And the right tackle is Karsten Williams, 6'1", 340-pound junior. So you've got two juniors and three seniors uh, on that offensive line. Again, it's Crawford and Williams, the tackles. Johnson and Kellum are the guards. Connor Davis at center. All right, we'll be back with the look at the uh, wideouts and the tight end right after this for your Sports Beat station, KGAS. Does your windshield have a crack or rot chip that makes the visibility a challenge? Did the door glass on your car quit rolling up or down? Monroe Brothers Auto Glass can solve your problems. Whether it's a small car, truck, 18-wheeler, or RV, glass is our thing as we offer mobile or in-house glass replacements and repairs. You can trust Monroe Brothers Auto Glass to perform a safe and timely repair with a competitive price. Just come see us at 1480 U.S. Highway 59 North or give us a call at 903-690-6806. Prosperity Bank is proud to be a part of the Carthage community. We can offer you big bank services with the feel of a community bank. We have you covered with over 240 locations throughout Texas and Oklahoma. Whether you're looking for a more traditional checking account or saving services, or if you need cash management, mobile banking, trust, mortgage, or lending services, we can provide you and your business the resources you need to succeed. Stop by the Carthage Banking Center to begin banking with the best today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS 460. 6414 loan subject to credit approval. Throughout Texas, Louisiana, and New Mexico, one of the largest independent oil field service companies is Penergy, ranked number one in the United States for total number of wells drilled. You'll likely recognize Penergy Carthage top management, Randy Taylor, Brandon Taylor, Andy Snow, Justin Taylor, and Steve Nations. At the Austin corporate office, senior management offers a combined 400 years experience regarding energy services. No more. Check the website, Penergy.com, or call 903-693-8400. Penergy. All right, we're back here at Van Memorial Stadium. The Bulldogs coming off a huge victory last week over the Pleasant Grove Hawks. They were ranked number one in the state in Class 4A Division II. Pleasant Grove going into that ball game, giving up 12 points per game, and the Bulldogs put 35 on them. How will the Dogs respond tonight after coming off a big win last week? Well, that's a question that we'll have to answer later on this evening. Looking now at the wideouts for the Bulldogs. Leading the way is three-star recruit Kelvante Dixon. He is committed at this point to Arkansas. 6'1", 180-pound senior, 23 receptions for 340 yards. So he's averaging just under 15 yards per catch, and he has eight touchdown receptions. The other wideout will be Kel Williams. Kel Williams, uh, Coach Surratt, if you were at Chalk Talk, you know that Coach uh, Surratt has been sort of perplexed by some balls that he has dropped this year. Well, they may have figured it out. They now have glasses for him, so he wears glasses. He wore glasses uh, at least the first day or two and now has contacts. Kel Williams, 6'1", 175-pound senior. Uh, they'll be backed up by Craig McNew. McNew uh, with a number of catches this year for the Bulldogs and also Braden Wade, a 5'10", 175-pound sophomore. So, again, it'll be Dixon and Williams starting at the wideouts, backed up by Wade and McNew. And the tight end is Montrell Smith. Montrell Smith, a 6'2", 215-pound junior. So it's Smith at tight end, Dixon, and Williams, the wideouts. We'll have the backfield for you right after this from your Sports Beat Station. If you need construction done, check with Carlos and Shane Courtney at Courtney Construction Incorporated. They're the best in the business, whether it's pipeline or dirt work, oil field maintenance or general construction, the Courtneys are well experienced. Call them at 903-694-2911 or drop by 1300 Northeast Loop in Carthage. When you need it done right, call Courtney Construction Incorporated. They'll get it done. How's air conditioning and electrical? Is Ralph there? Well, what's Ralph look like? He's got white hair and spots. Is Ralph your dog? He's a Dalmatian. 
Well, why would he be here at Hal's Air Conditioning and Electrical? You always say you have something for everyone. Well, we do. We can help with all your heating, cooling, and electrical repair needs. We install new systems and whole home generators, too. But maybe you should look out in your backyard for Ralph. I'll just call his cell phone. Since 1974, we've got something for everyone. Hal's Air Conditioning and Electrical. Call 903-693-7451. Pritchard and Abbott Incorporated are evaluating consultants. What does that mean? They appraise minerals, industrial, utility properties, and data services. From their evaluations of a net worth, fair taxes can be levied. Pritchard and Abbott Incorporated doing their part to be a good neighbor and helping our part of the world stay strong and solvent. Pritchard and Abbott Incorporated evaluating consultants. All right, your KGLS broadcast crew back here at uh, Van Memorial Stadium. We get ready for District 10 4A action between the Vandals and the Bulldogs. Kai Horton will be the starting quarterback for the Bulldogs. 6'4, 220. He is a junior. 87 of 141 through the air. So that's a completion ratio of 62%. 1,133 yards, 16 touchdowns, and two interceptions this year for Horton. The fullback is Brandon McNeely. He's a senior, 6 foot, 200 pounder. The tailback. Uh, happy to see as a junior, that is Mason Courtney, 5'10", 185, a junior. And uh, if you've gone to Choctaw, you know that Coach Surratt uses the, the word toughness uh, to describe what Mason Courtney brings to the table. Mason Courtney, uh, 69 carries this year, 435 yards, uh, averaging just over six yards per carry and four touchdowns on the ground. He'll be backed up by a young man who has come in and been very productive. Uh, no fall off when we bring in Jaden Thomas at all. 5'9", 170-pound senior. He's got 216 yards this year. So our two tailbacks combined have 651 yards through five ball games. So it'll be Courtney backed up by Thomas at tailback. Brandon McNeely is the fullback. Incidentally, he's backed up by Sy Schumacher and Kai Horton at quarterback. And uh, he is backed up by Anthony Wilson, 5'8", 170-pound senior. Look at the defense right after this from KGAS. XL Ford is always your place to go for quality pre-owned vehicles. We have pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and everything in between to meet your needs. If you're looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle, XL Ford has you covered. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff is here to help you find the car you deserve price to fit your budget. We'll help you every step of the way to make sure you're satisfied with your pre-owned vehicle. Come down today and take a test drive today. Excellent price, excellent selection, and excellent service after the sale. Visit us at XL Ford on the Southeast Loop in Carthage, Texas. First, State Bank & Trust advances banking convenience with its new mobile app. Download the fsb and mobile app and realize the full potential of 21st century on-the-go banking technology. At your fingertips, deposit checks, view real-time balances and account histories, transfer funds in your accounts, and pay bills 24-7. You can contact customer service from the app if needed during regular business hours. On-the-go, on-the-phone banking tech from your trusted FDIC member equal housing lender, First State Bank & Trust. This is Pastor Monty Pierce, along with all the fine folks at Central Baptist Church, located one block off the square in beautiful downtown Carthage. We hope you are enjoying the game as the Bulldogs make another exciting run for the championship. If you don't have a church home and you like friendly folks and a meaningful worship service, we invite you to join us this Sunday. Check us out at centralcarthage.com for times and more information. This is Dr. Monty. Go Bulldogs! All right, the Bulldogs' uh, defense, boy, what a performance they put on. The uh, the Hawks of Pleasant Grove averaging over 40 points per ball game. They only got uh, 14 against the Bulldogs last week. All right, we've got one change, of course, because of an injury. A couple of changes because of an injury. One is Quan Brown. Quan Brown is out. Coach Surratt indicating probably for two weeks. Uh, so he will be uh, uh, out of there. Jakebian Tua, who came in, did an outstanding job. Uh, replacing him last week, he'll be starting at one defensive end, 6'3", 195, a senior. The other end is Quentin Owens, 6'3", 218, a senior. Uh, at the nose is Kylan Lister, 6'1", 230-pounder. Lister with 32 tackles this year. Owens has 28. Uh, Tool has uh, uh, 20 tackles this year for the Bulldogs. And Desmond Hicks, 6'1", 220-pound senior, he'll be also on that defensive line. So it would be Owens and Tool. The ends, Hicks and Lister, will be the inside. Let's go now to the linebackers. We'll get them now also. Kip Lewis will be the weak side backer. 
37 tackles for him, 6'1", 177, a sophomore. Incidentally, he's backed up by Jai Brazier. Brazier, 5'11", 185, a senior. He's got 24 tackles. So if you combine those two, Brazier and Lewis, they've got 61 combined. Rayvon Ingram, 5'11", 208-pound senior. He's in the middle, 44 tackles for the year for him. And the Sam backer is Mason Bobo. Bobo, 5'11", 185-pound senior. So once again, the ends are Owens and Toole. The uh, insides are inside uh, interior linemen defensively, Hicks and Lister. And the linebackers are Lewis, Ingram, and Bobo. Okay, the secondary coming up right after this from your Sports Beat Station. East Texas is a wonderful community, and at Panola National Bank, we're proud to call it home. That's why you'll find our bank and our employees helping others wherever you look. From supporting local schools to volunteering with local charity events, we're part of the fabric that weaves the community and its people together. When it comes to financial service needs, local is better. We provide convenient banking services so we can help our community grow. Panola National Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Bonnie Bacon at Carthage Furniture is offering refrigerators at great savings. Choose a 16 cubic foot refrigerator in white or black priced for you at $5.99 or an 18 cubic foot refrigerator with a white finish or black finish just $6.49. If you ever need a refrigerator, Bonnie says this is the time to buy. Carthage Furniture, the huge store behind the car wash. Carthage Furniture on West Panola across from the Sonic where Rosa speaks Spanish. All right, if you were with us last week, you know we also had an injury in the secondary. Let's take the corners first, though. No injuries there. Miles Halton will be one of the starters, 5'11", 165-pound senior. The other is DeAndre Bowman, 5'10", 160-pound senior. Cole Whitlock went into a concussion protocol last week, and sure enough, he did have a concussion, so he is out this week. Uh, expected that he should be back next week 5'9", 175, a senior he'll be replaced by Javon King and again if you were at Chalk Talk you know Coach Surratt was pleased with what he saw from Javon when he came in he's a 5'9", 145 pound senior so he'll be one of the safeties the other will be Austin Morgan 6'175 pound junior so it'll be Bowman and Halton the corners, Morgan and King the safeties alright we'll return to Band Memorial Stadium right after this from your sports beat station KGAS. This is Mark Harris at Farmer State Bank in Carthage. Did you know Farmer State Bank offers 15, 20, and 30 year fixed rate mortgages? We will service your loan in house and you can make a payment at one of our five full service locations Center, Main Bank, and Rough Rider Branch, Carthage, Joaquin, Shelbyville. So come by Farmer State Bank and let us help you buy the home of your dreams. Farmer State Bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Money. Great commercial. If you'd like to earn up to a 30% discount on your auto insurance, then here's your chance. State Farm has an updated version of its Drive Safe and Save app, and drivers everywhere are enjoying the rewards. Millions are now saying, don't mess with my discount, and you will too. Just download the Drive Safe and Save app from State Farm to get started, or call us at Tate Barber State Farm, 903-693-7555. Bauer Furniture has been family owned and operated since 1963. Paul Bauer and his fine staff pride themselves in their interior design skills and their selection of quality inventory. You'll find one of the area's largest selection of Lazy Boy recliners and rocker recliners in the Arklatex. Bauer also features bedding by Serna, featuring the perfect sleeper. A full line of living room, dining room, and bedroom furniture is waiting for you. Plus area rugs, lamps, and art decor. And Bauer Furniture is the home of free delivery. I'll repeat, the home of free delivery. Bauer Furniture on Panola in Carthage. All right, we return to Van Memorial Stadium. Incidentally, Coach Surratt, if you listen to his interview, you know that the folks in Van came down to Carthage to get some ideas before they built this stadium. This stadium uh, about one year younger than our stadium at Bull in uh, Carthage, and you can see some similarities. Uh, we may talk about those a little bit later. Let's go over the folks who bring to you uh, some of the uh, some of the events that we have going on every ball game, like. For instance, the first downs. The first downs are brought to you by Hal's AC and Electrical. They have you covered whether it's hot or cold. Red Zone, that's Kelly's Collision, a complete collision store from minor to major repairs, Highway 59 North. Touchdowns, Carthage Hardware, 
Special, that's Bulldog Touchdowns. Carthage Hardware specializing in electrical and plumbing supplies with experienced, fast, friendly, and knowledgeable hometown service. The Extra Points brought to you by the Bulldog Stop. Lunch specials every weekday. Happy hour on fountain drinks from 3 to 6 each afternoon. Your official pit stop before and after each game. And, of course, the sideline, Mike, that's XL Ford, your hometown form dealer on the loop in Carthage. Well, before I forget it, I want to make sure I get in the introduction of the officials. Brought to you by the city of Carthage, the best little town in East Texas, gas capital of the world, and home to a six-time state football champion, Carthage Bulldogs. And no surprise, Vans, where we are, and so this chapter is out of Tyler, and we've had this crew many times before. Referee is Bobby Baines, Bob, Bobby Bain, excuse me. Scotty Wilkins is the umpire. Wesley Jones, the head linesman. Coy Lancaster, the line judge. And Greg Jones is the back judge. All right, we'll return to Van Memorial Stadium right after this from your sports beat station, KGAS. Panola County relies on UT Health Carthage for high quality care from medical professionals you know and trust. We offer a full range of services like 24 hour emergency and level four trauma care, diagnostics including 64 slice CT, MRI, digital mammography, bone density, ultrasound, and x ray. And UT Health First Physicians Clinics with specialists in obstetrics and family health. UT Health is proud to be one with East Texas and with the Carthage Bulldogs. Industry leading experience at Darnell Pest Services. With over a decade of happy customers in Texas, Darnell Pest Services offers the most thorough and proven methods to eliminate household pests in and around your home. Call 903 471 6400. Ask Chad Darnell about a free evaluation, advanced solutions, continuous protection, customer care, and service guarantee. Call 903 471 6400 and get rid of those pesky roaches, ants, rodents, spiders, even termites. Darnell Pest Services can keep your home pest free. Quick Stop Carthage is your quick stop for anything you might need for running errands around the area or starting a road trip. Every day, 5 a.m. till 9 p.m., you can count on Quick Stop Carthage to have quality fuel and service items for your vehicle and something easy, fast, and tasty from the kitchen for breakfast, lunch, or supper. A specialty is one of the best hamburgers in East Texas. Your best stop seven days a week in Carthage at 2365 Southeast Loop is Quick Stop. All right, the Van Vandals are coached by Jared Moppet, a good friend of Coach Surratt. Last year they were 10-3. and three. They were 4-1 and one in district play, second behind the Carthage Bulldogs. And they lost in the regional semifinals to the Henderson Lions. Interesting thing, interesting trivia there. They lost to Henderson in the regional finals 21-20. to 20. They defeated Henderson 21-20 to 20 in the regular season. Uh, this year they are 4-1. and one. Their only loss was at Gilmer. And a big question mark tonight will be, will the coach's son, Jayton Moffitt, will, be, will he be starting at quarterback? He's missed a couple of games, 5'11", 180-pound senior. He has a completion average of 61%. He's thrown for 11 touchdowns, had three passes picked off. And, again, he's missed a couple of ball games. Uh, defensively, if you were at Chalk Talk, you heard Coach Surratt challenging, uh, telling us that he challenged his senior defensive starters uh, to uh, remember that this is the start of district play and the coaches vote on the all-district honors, and he said, players, they remember your numbers, so make an, make an impression tonight. Uh, Jaden Jacobs, number eight, is the defending defensive MVP out of District 10-4A. Last year had 132 tackles, 17 sacks, 27 for loss. Not saying at all that he's equivalent to Landon Jackson from Pleasant Grove, but nevertheless, he is a disruptive force defensively. All right, Mark Harris and Otis Amy alongside. Gentlemen, take it away. Well, you know, in the last few years, Van has really stepped up to the plate and played some good ball. So in last year, they're second place behind us. So don't think they're going to lay over and play dead because they, like Coach Robertson used to tell us in practice when we were undefeated, he said, y'all think you're good, don't you? He kept <laughs> saying that you think you're good, don't you? And then he said, guess what? You're undefeated. Everybody wants to beat the undefeated team. They'll play up. And so we have to be sure from our game last week when we really dominated at the end of that ball game that we keep the same intensity that we had last week and not let down. Also, Coach Mack, funerals this week, and they were a big part of him, and he was a big part of them. And so we want them to be out winning this ball game for him. Otis, what do you think? Well, I think you, you hit the nail on the head. This is a game that they're 
possibly could be a letdown. It's kind of hard to play with that intensity every week, uh, especially when you plan against a team that's not a natural rivalry. You know, we haven't played Van that many times, so we don't have that rivalry aspect. But I'm sure our guys will come out and be ready to roll. We'll see uh, about the intensity very early in the ball game. But it's a great night for football. The weather's a little bit cool, but it doesn't appear to have much wind, and, and there's no rain. So it should be a great night for football. Well, usually when you played football, like you and I did, a cool night was really welcoming, especially in the third quarter. Right. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. I wanted to make new friends in college and save gas money by walking to class. But I was worried the cost of living on my own would make it difficult to live on campus. Then I learned Panola College not only has an affordable tuition, it also has several housing options that cost as low as $140 per week and includes 19 meals a week. Certainly worth the price to make lasting friendships. Panola College, lowering costs for higher education. To find out more, visit panola.edu today. Because you're a fan of fresh made just the way you like it pizza, you'll love Country Fresh Pizza Carthage. We make it, you make it. Here we are at the uh, Farmer's Delight Memorial. features six meats and six veggies. The vegetable garden with all the veggies. The rise and shine with eggs and cheddar. The crafty farmer to build your own. And even Alfredo pizza. Call 903-631-0246 to order. 636 West Panola, the white building with the bright graphics. It's delicious. It's country fresh pizza. Well, if you were at Bulldog Stadium last year, you know that uh, there's a lot of red and white when these two teams get together because those are the colors of both schools. So... The Carthage Bulldogs, they're in all white, with except red numbers, and they wear white helmets. And the Van Vandals, they're all in red, with the exception of white numbers, and they wear a red helmet. Uh, again, saw some similarities between this stadium and Bulldog Stadium, and we'll talk about those as we go along. Uh, the Bulldogs, again, 5-0. and Incidentally, next week, next week we return home. It'll be the first home game in four weeks, and it will be homecoming against Chapel Hill. The remaining schedule home against Chapel Hill, and then we go on the road to Palestine, and then senior night at home against Henderson, and then we go on the road to Kilgore. All right, the coin toss is coming up. That's brought to you by the Pony Express, located on West Panola, across from Panola College. They have lunch specials and a super salad bar and fuel for the car. Stop by before and after the home football games. Again, that's the Pony Express bringing you the coin toss, and again, Bobby Bain is the white hat tonight. And uh, everyone turns and to toward the south end of the stadium for the national anthem. Let's see if we can pick it up. All right, the officials, I mean, the uh, captains are out in the middle of the field, along with the referee and the umpire. And uh, we're getting ready here for the coin toss. Jason, is... come in. We heard oh, you might right. yeah, come Jason. on. Jason, Jason, can you come in if uh, you can hear us? Uh, yes, can you hear me okay? Yes. Go ahead. All right, good, good, good. <clears throat> about ready to see what you guys are talking about. Let's see if we can have a great game from last week, and let's see if the boys can uh, add on to that after a great performance against Pleasant Grove. Thank you, sir. All right. I must admit, I was listening to uh, Jason there, and I didn't see the signal. I think we won it. What about it, Ovis? Yes, we did. We did? Okay. So the Bulldogs will be getting the football as we get started here at Van Memorial Stadium. And glad you could join us. Hey, I will tell you guys that I can hear I can hear y'all real good, but I can't hear Larry as well. You might turn him up in my, my phone line if you don't mind. Okay. All right, the Bulldogs are going to be sending back 
Looks like that's Anthony Wilson. It should be Braden Wade, and it is. They've been going back uh, quite a bit this year. And uh, in incidentally, we do need to mention that the wind, uh, it, which whatever wind we do have here is in the favor of the Van Vandals in the first quarter. Uh, they do not have flags at the top of each upright as we do in Carthage. So you can't get a look at it from there. I cannot see the U.S. flag from my position. What's it look like? It's blowing towards us, look like. Like blowing towards us, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so Van getting ready to kick off again. We've got back deep Wade and Anthony Wilson. They're standing back on the Bulldog 20-yard line. And here's a high short kick, and we're going to come up, and it's going to go, it's going to hit and go out of bounds. I think that hit in bounds and then bounced out. No one made an effort to catch it on the fly. Did that hit in bounds, Otis? I believe it did. It wow. did. That it's on a flag. It was really wise for the kid, but it was also dangerous. <laughs> it was very dangerous because, uh, you know, if that takes a hop back toward uh, the other end of the field, then Van has a great chance to come up with a recovery. All right, so the Bulldogs uh, will get the football, and they're going to mark off five. The umpire started to mark off uh, going the wrong direction, but it's five yards against Van. So the Bulldogs now with the football heading from our right to left here in the first quarter. So they're headed toward the north end zone. This field runs north and south. Okay, Horton in the shotgun as we get underway here. He's got two receivers to the right and Dixon split to the left. Snap back to Horton. Horton looking right. He's throwing right. This ball is caught out there across the 40. That's going to be Kel Williams. They go to him on the very first play after he gets those contacts and he picks up seven yards. He got a little contact too, did he? Yeah, I believe they're testing his eyes out on the first play. He just ran a quick stop, easy throwing catch, and he picked up uh, seven, seven plus yards. Good start for the dogs. All right, so seven yards to Dixon. The ball is on the right hash. And again, Dixon is split out to the left. Two receivers uh, to the right. One of them goes motion left, and here's the handoff. It's going to go to Courtney. Courtney up the middle, and Courtney with a strong push may have a first down. He's still on his feet, and now they whistle the play dead, and I believe it'll be a house AC first down. Yes, it is. Yep. They actually never got him to the ground. They no, he never goes stopped, down. Just stopped his progress. Picked up the first down. It was a good, great start by the dogs. Okay, so that's a gain of three there for Courtney. The ball now is spotted just about oh, two or three yards to the left of the right hash. All right, Horton again in the shotgun. Twins to the left this time, one to the right. Van straightening the blitz. Here they come. Horton avoids it, goes to his left, wants to throw the ball. Then he, he oh. loses it and then picks it back up. He wanted to throw it, and it came out of his hand and luckily bounced back up to him, but it's going to be a loss of eight yards. It was just unfortunate on that. He had a little pressure. He stepped up in the pocket and was about ready to deliver. And when he got ready to arm the throwing motion, it slipped out of the back of his hand. And he was throwing against his body, too, and that, that's hard to do. All right, so McNew, who was in on that play, comes goes out, and someone else comes in. Let's see. We're going to send Kel Williams this time to the left. The fullback came in, Brandon McNeely. Okay, and then Dixon goes out to the right. All right, Horton this time is going to be under center. Second down and 18. Second and 18 for the dogs. And Fumble they fumble the snap. Horton picks it up, and he throws it away, and it's going to reach the line of scrimmage, which means it'll be an incomplete pass. He fumbled the snap, picked it up, and threw it away. Third and 18 coming up. Coach from Van wanted a flag there, but he got it past the line of scrimmage. Okay, now a flag there is, is a flag. thrown at the 29-yard line. Guess he talked him into it. Ooh, wait a minute. Maybe he didn't. I thought he got it to the line, past the line of scrimmage, but maybe I was looking at the wrong uh, pole over there. No, I, I think it went past the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I did too. They said Tinston Grant. No, he didn't either, according to the referee. Okay, so, huh, I thought he did, but that's a loss of nine on the play. I believe what they're saying is he was in the pocket, but there was no receiver in that area. Okay. It had to be. Okay, so it's a loss of nine. Okay, so the ball's on the 31, and we've got to get to their 42. So eight and 19 is 27. Third down and 27. Third and 27 for the dogs from their own 31-yard line. Boy, third and 27, what do you dial up here? 
Van threatening the blitz, coming right straight up the middle. Here they come. Horton wants to throw it. He's under pressure. He's going to be sacked. The ball is loose. He gets it to Dixon, 35-40. Got it to Dixon as he was going down, and Dixon goes to the 41-yard line. Now, we needed 27, and he got 11 of those. It was a Brett Favre type pass. He yeah. just kind of punched it out there. Patrick Mahomes has been watching NFL highlights. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so again, we needed 27. He gets 11 out of that. And so now it's fourth down and 16. Fourth and 16 for Carthage from our 41. We're going into whatever wind there is down on the field. So we're going to send Williams and Dixon to the right and McNew to the left. Let's see, on the play clock, we've got 10 seconds to go. Horton standing back in the shotgun on fourth down and 11. Fourth down and 16. Here's Horton. He wants to throw it. Heavy pressure from behind. Gets loose from that. Going to go deep down the middle and has Dixon out there. This ball is going to be intercepted by Van, and that's the equivalent of a good, pretty good punt that's right there. That's better than a punt. <laughs> no return. <laughs> we, we wasn't going to kick it that far. Too. All right, so a long pass downfield. Boy, what an arm there by, uh, by Horton, and it was picked off. One-on-one -on -one coverage picked off by the Vandals. We kind yeah, of self-destructed it. Yeah, and they did themselves a disservice by intercepting it. They should have knocked it down. They would have had plus 50-plus yards on that. But that flipped the field for us. That's, like I say, that's even better than a punt. Okay, that would have been, let's see, 14. That's uh, 36 and 9. That would have been the equivalent of a 45-yard punt. And uh, it is not Moffitt in there. Moffitt is not starting at quarterback. The coach's son. He's going to throw left. The quarterback does it. It's caught at the 10, out to the 15, the 20, 25, 30, and out of bounds. It's going to be a first down for Van on the very first play from scrimmage as they pick up about 15 to 20 yards. Well, you could tell a difference with Cole Whitlock not on the field on that one particular play. I guarantee he, he runs that down and makes the play. But they've good start for the uh, Van Vandals. So they pick up 17 on that pass play. It goes to the Vandal 32, so it's now first and 10 for Van from their own 32-yard line. Quarterback is in. I do not have a Van roster, so I can't tell you his name. Here's the handoff. It goes to number 14 going to the left, and he is tackled for a loss on the play. And I can tell you who that ball carrier is. That is Marcus Orozco. Orozco. And Kip Lewis on the, on the stop. Stopped him pretty much dead in his tracks. Yep. So a one-yard loss back to the 31 makes it second and 11. Second and 11 for the Van Vandals. In case you've just joined us, Carthage took the opening kickoff, and uh, we picked up one first down, then threw a long interception that, as Otis said, flipped the field. Van now picked up a first down. They have it now second down and 11 from their own 31. Empty backfield for the Vandals. They've got two receivers to the left, three to the right. He throws to the right. This ball is caught. He dodges one tackler, gets across the 35 to the 37. So that will be a gain of six yards. It's going to bring up third down for Van. Stopped by Lewis and Toole. Pretty good throw on that part. Pretty good play by them, really. So 37 to the 43. It's third down and six. Third and six for the Van Vandals. Uh, let's see, that's third down and five make it. Third and five for Van from their own 37. We've got 8.20 to play in the first quarter. No score here in Van. All right, the quarterback with a back in the backfield with him to his left. Snap back to the quarterback. Play action fake. He throws left. This ball is caught. And then he's downed immediately at the 41. Going to be shy of the first down by a yard. So they pick up four. They needed five. That's a tough concept right there. They had their receivers stacked, and they ran – that first guy on a go and the second guy on a slant. And that's really difficult to cover that, but it's fourth and one. Let's see what they're going to do here. So it's fourth down from their own 41-yard line, fourth down and one, and uh, the quarterback is in the shotgun, two receivers to each side. They look over to the sideline, their sideline, to get a last-minute call. Ten seconds left now on the play clock. You Still wait, looking wait. at the sideline. They may wait five seconds. And they're going to run it all the way down to one, and then they'll call a timeout. They do. Timeout on the field. No score here in Van. 
Cardinal fan. It's football season. Come see all the new things going on at Omar University football games. The new Cardinal Lane tailgating area has live music, jumpers, and a video game truck for kids. Over 20 corporate sponsors handing out free food, drinks, and gear. Cardinal Lane opens four hours before kickoff. Lamar now has at home games all new in-game entertainment for you. If you haven't already, make sure you purchase your tickets now. Season tickets as low as $45. Single game tickets as low as $10. Excited to see you in the stands cheering on the Cardinals all season. Go LU! Wyndham Family Dental at 406 Cora Street in Center is here with personalized service and a professional atmosphere. Wyndham Family Dental serves East Texas with skill and attention that only Wyndham Family Dental can give. It'll only take okay, one. Okay, well, three. Pleasant Grove. Okay, they're going to they're going to kick it now. After uh, they called a timeout, they decided to kick. Evidently, yes. High snap. He comes down with it, gets off a line drive kick, and it hits at the 27 across the 25 20. 15, 10, inside the five. They down it at the five-yard line. So that's going to be 45 and nine. That's going to be a 54-yard punt for Van. And Carthage takes over at their own five. You talk about field position. Yes. You switch back. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I tell you what, uh, Jason, we'll go down to you after this first play here. Well, again, we've got 7.15 to play in the quarter. Uh, and there is no score here in Van. Each team has had one position. This is the second position for the Bulldogs as they start at their own five-yard line. We'll go down to you, Jason, with the XL uh, sideline mic, XL forward sideline mic right after this. Okay, here's Horton handing off to Thomas. Thomas going to the right, and he's got about three or four yards out close to the nine-yard line. Down to, down to uh, Jason Wade. Yeah, I had a chance to talk with uh, Cole Whitlock. He's down here and uh, just talked to him briefly, and uh, he said he's in that concussion protocol. He is out tonight. But he said that he will be back next week and looking forward to continuing where he left off uh, last Friday night. All right, very good. Second down and six now for the Dogs after that four-yard game by Jaden Thomas. Ball is on the right hash as the Dogs come to the line of scrimmage. Horton goes under center. And it looks like that's Courtney back there at tailback now. Yes. And it, it throw to the right is caught to, by Williams. Williams ac across the 10-yard line. That's going to be another house AC first down on the pass to uh, Kel Williams. Mm. Again, just a stop route. He actually didn't move. He just flicked it out there, and he caught it. And did he pick up? The, picked up the first down. That's I tell you what, it sure is nice as a quarterback to have the two receivers he yeah. has to throw to. Yes. So that's two two seven yard receptions now for Williams. So yeah. he's got two for fourteen yards. Uh, the other reception tonight, Kelvante Dixon, one for eleven. First and ten. Carthage at our at their own sixteen. Here's Horton throwing left, caught by Dixon. Dixon to the 15, the 20, and out to the 24-yard line. That's going to be a gain on the play of eight yards. It'll be second down and two for the Dogs from their own 24. You know, Kale seeing real well tonight. He even saw that defender out there made a good block on the perimeter. And and so Moochie had a good move yeah. that uh, got him into the open to get some good yardage. Yeah. All but right, the, so second down and two after that eight-yard completion to Dixon. Second and two for Carthage from their own 24. The ball is on the left hash as the dogs go from our right to left here in the first quarter, headed toward the north end zone here at uh, Van Memorial Stadium. Incidentally, I'll tell you something interesting concerning that word memorial in the title. Okay, here's Horton under center, hands off this time. This looks like this is uh, Courtney. Courtney with no gain on the play, and it's going to bring up now third down and two for Carthage from the 24-yard line. And number eight is really playing a good yeah. ball game. Yeah. That's when we talked about early. Yeah. He has been on Horton's face the whole time. Yeah, They're well, they brought a blitz on that when they had one more than we could block, and, you know, that happens sometime. The returning MVP in the district, number eight, uh, and that is uh, Jaden Jacobs. All right, so now it's third down and two for Carthage from their own 24. First possession, we picked up a first down, then had to punt on this one. We have one first down. Third and two now, tight end over on the right side. Here's a pitch out to Courtney. Courtney going right, and he's going to be close to the first down, very close. I think he's got it. Pinto, we'll wait the signals from the official. Pinto takes precedence. This over here is a little bit short, and over here is about right. Okay, it is a first down. We'll give him two yards to the 26. So another house AC first down, the third of the ball game for Carthage. Actually, it's about the 26 and a half, pretty close to that. Now it's over on the right hash this time. Horton again under center. Twins to the left. Here's Horton. 
Play action fake. He rolls to his right. He wants to throw it. He throws it. This ball is caught by Montreal Smith to the 35, to the 40, across the 40. Has another house. AC first down. It'll be a first down pickup of about 13 yards. Bootleg action from the quarterback. Good catch from Smith. He looked like he stuck one hand up there and brought it in and had a good run after the catch. Good touch by the quarterback. Okay, that's going to be a gain of uh, 17 yards on that pass play. And so that goes to Montreal Smith. And now it is first and 10 dogs at their own 41. Jane Thomas in at tailback. All right, so Thomas back in there now. Okay, Wade went motion right. Now goes back to the left. They throw left to him. And this is Wade catching the football. And he is wrapped up for a loss on the play. That's going to be a loss of five yards back to the 36 yard Both line. receivers missed their blocks, and he had no chance on that one. So Wade with that reception, and it's a five-yard loss. Second down and 15. Who, who missed their blocks, Otis? Um, two of them. Two of them. <laughs> uh, Mac, it, was, it was Mac New and Williams. Okay, all right, okay. All right, so a five-yard loss back to the 36. Ball this time is on the left hash. And Horton goes back into the shotgun again. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Snap back to Horton. He, here comes a van. We go with the screen right to Courtney. To Courtney, 35, 40, 45, midfield, big play, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. And he's inside the 10-yard line down to about the 5-yard line. Big play for the dogs on the screen pass to Courtney. And T. Kellum, I saw him run on the field. I said, God, that guy's really slow. But he got out on that screen and got him a pancake out there. And that's what sprung uh, Courtney. You'd think Courtney big, weighed big about block. 210 the way he runs. Okay, so a 59-yard pass to Courtney. And that is a house AC first down, and we're in the Kelly's Collision red zone, five yards away from a Carthage Hardware touchdown. 3-10 to play in the first quarter. No score, Carthage at the van five-yard line. Following, the, again, the big play of the ball game so far. That was a 59-yard screen pass right. And uh, Mason, Mason Courtney, Took it down to the five. All right, they've got to hurry. Three seconds on the play clock. Now it's down to one. Corton, Horton, hands off to the help back going left, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Great run there by Mason Courtney as he broke a tackle, gets in, and it's a Carthage Hardware Bulldog touchdown. That was a great play while they go to the screen. They're really yes. active on the defensive line, and yes. they'll come in and wide open. Yes. And like I say, the big block was by T. Kellum. Is is kind of hard for those linemen to, to block linebackers in space or secondary guys, and he did. All right, Phillips didn't tip the extra point. There's the kick. It is away, and it is good. Carthage 7, man nothing. 2.46 to play in the first, back right after this. Pippin Motor Company is looking for one- to six-year-old pre-owned vehicles for our lot. Hello, Will Blackwell here with Pippin Motor Company. We are always willing to take your trade-in on your next vehicle purchase, but did you know we will also buy your used vehicle even if you don't buy from us? That's right. Due to the high demand of quality pre-owned vehicles, we will buy your used vehicle if it fits our criteria. Stop by and see us just across from Panola College or give us a call at 693-6691. And remember, all roads lead to Pippin. Before beginning your next project, compare Carthage Hardware's prices to make sure you have the best deal. From deer corn to heating, ventilation, and air conditioning supplies, you can find what you need at Carthage Hardware. Now offering the best in kitchen and bathroom faucets and accessories, plumbing fixtures by Delta. The friendly, knowledgeable staff wants to show you the newly expanded Milwaukee Power Tool and Accessories Department and dependable Generac home standby generators. Carthage Hardware, 320 West Panola in the best small town in Texas, Carthage. All right, a five-yard run by Mason Courtney. That followed the 59-yard uh, screen pass to Courtney. And Carthage takes a 7-0 lead. We've got 246 left to play here in the first quarter. Okay, as we often do, uh, Jason, we'll come down to you after this kickoff. Bulldogs uh, will be kicking toward the north. So whatever wind there is, they're kicking into it. Not much of a win here. Here's the kick, and it is going to be a pretty good kick. They're going to take it at the 15 on the numbers to the 20, 25, and short of the 30-yard line. And we go now down to the XL forward sideline Mike with Jason Wade. Hey, I was just going to say it's a good, uh, good sign that we scored there on that second uh, possession of the game. This band defense hasn't given up very many points. They did give up 41 to Gilmer earlier this year. 
But they've really been uh, doing a good job. I think they've only been averaging, uh, giving up about 14 points a game this year. All right, we've got a player down for the Bulldogs. We'll take a break here in Van. Back right after this from our sponsors. Carthage Flower Shop, located on the square in downtown Carthage, where they carry an array of fresh flowers and silk pot plants. Carthage Flower Shop also carries Colonial Candles, Mantra Bands, Hickory Farms, The Naked Bee, and Willow Tree Angels. Shop Carthage Flower Shop. They will help you with all your floral needs. Hey, KGAS listeners, we're excited about the Bulldogs. Spirit is great this year, and excitement is wonderful. And speaking of excitement, if you're looking for a Bible-centered, Christ-preaching, old-fashioned, spirit-filled place to worship, I have your answer, Carthage Missionary Baptist Church, 916 West Sabine Street, Carthage. CMBC is a proud supporter of the Bulldogs, and for years the same prayer for the dogs and Coach Surratt uh, have been prayed every Friday game day. So let's go, dogs, all the way this year. This is Dr. Dale Reed. We want you to join the winning team at Hudson Financial and let us assist you in finding the best game plan for your insurance and investment needs. We are licensed with over 30 companies to provide you with the best coverages and prices, whether you need personal, commercial, or life insurance. At HFG, we will never let good enough be enough when it comes to our clients. Stop by our office at 1519 West Panola or give us a call at 903-693-7874 and let us help you with your winning game plan today. All right. Well, UIL rules uh, prohibit us from uh, saying very much about injuries, but we will tell you this is a uh, Carthage player, and he is very gingerly being helped off the field. Looks like the problem is a knee. Looks like uh, yeah, on the right side. Okay. All right. So. The Van Vandals are going to have the football uh, after this kickoff, and they will have it at their own 29-yard line. Carth is leading 7 to nothing with 2.44 left to play in the first quarter, and this gives us a good chance to mention uh, Chalk Talk. Remember Chalk Talk every week, 12 o'clock in the field house. And remember, if you haven't been in uh, very much this year, okay, there's no food that they bring in, no charge. Uh, some guys bring their own, bring the food and eat uh, during Chalk Talk. That's fine. Starts at 1 o'clock at the field house every Monday, uh, every Monday at noon. Yeah, Brazier's in for the injured player. Okay, all right, here's a handoff to uh, a halfback or tailback going to his left, and the stop is made there for a very short gain. Looks like a gain of one on the play no. for the Van Vandals. I believe that loss of one. A loss well, of no, one. No, okay. no, he gained one. That's a, You're right. It's King on the yeah. tackle. Javon King on the tackle. All right, so... A gain of one there for the Vandals. All right. And that brings up now second down and nine. Second and nine for Van from their own 30-yard line. And, again, they are not starting. They, we have not seen the, the, the uh, coach's son, who's been their starting quarterback at the start of the year. Here's a handoff to the running back and up the middle, and he has met with a lot of resistance there. He does pick up. A yard or two. Looks like going to give him two to the 32. It'll bring up third and seven for the Vandals from their own 32. Lister and Ingram on the tackle. We've called his name 44 times mm -hmm. this year, so as far as Ingram's concerned. All right, so it's now third down and seven. Third and seven for Van from their own 32-yard line. If you've just joined us, we've got a minute 30 left to play here in the first quarter. Carthage leading 7 nothing on a five-yard run by Mason Courtney. Big play on that drive, a 59-yard screen pass to Courtney. Third down and seven. Empty backfield for Van. Snap back to the quarterback. He's looking right. Pump fake right now. He throws, and this mm. ball is incomplete. And that will bring up fourth and seven for the Vandals from their own 32-yard line. They're going to bring the punt unit in. Pressure. Pressure causing to throw that ball away. Larry, you mentioned uh, the coach's son. He's not even dressed out. There he is right there on the 50 in the hoodie. I wonder what his injury okay. was. Did you ever hear I heard a separated shoulder. Is that what you heard, uh, Otis? Uh, I didn't hear what, what uh, it was. Okay. Third, uh, 32 yard line. Here's a X, here's the punt, another line drive kick. It hits at the 35, goes down. Dixon tries to pick it up and he falls on it back at the nine to prevent it from going inside the uh, 
five yard line. Their punters really kept them in pretty good sit situations from the start yeah. of our first downs. So that's going to be 41 and 18. That's a 59 yard kick there. Uh, and Jason, we'll go down to you uh, after this next play to give us an idea of, uh, of what the wind is like. Now those, those have been two punts with uh, from that direction that have gone 54 and 59 yards for Van getting a big time roll. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> a big <laughs> <roll>. understatement there. <laughs> All right, now let's see. Dogs first and 10 from their own nine yard line. Last time we went uh, 95 yards. On a scoring drive, snap back to Horton. He throws left. This ball oh, is picked, oh, almost picked boy. up. Now caught by Dixon. <laughs> Dixon to the eight-yard line, to the 10, and almost out to the 15. Oh. It should have been intercepted by the van Boy, It should have been a pick six. He, went he, right through his hands. He had it right in his hands, and it went right to Dixon. It deflected. He deflected it to Dixon, and by golly, Dixon picks up five yards on the play. <laughs> Just great athleticism after he caught the ball. Well, we're going to well, pump that out there and, and hit them deep on it because they're triggering real fast. That's why that screen did so well. Okay, Jason, I'm sorry. I missed you. We'll go down after this play. Okay, second down and five. Handoff goes to Wade, uh, to uh, certainly Thomas. Thomas across the 15 to the 17, a gain of three. Okay, down to Jason Wade with the XL forward sideline mic. Hey, would it be an understatement if I said that guy should have uh, picked that ball? <laughs> hey, listen, as impressive as that was, that read was, uh, I thought it was impressive to watch Kilvante catch the ball, good focus there. But, yes, to tell you the truth, it is, it is a real strong, steady wind uh, coming right into the face of where the uh, Carthage Bulldogs are facing. Okay, that's the end of the quarter. We'll take a break. That is the first quarter. This is Kathy. And Steve from Elliott Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Carthage. It's Ram Power Days this month at the store. And we have huge savings on new Ram 1500 Classic starting at only $23.9. Yeah, you heard it, only $23.9 for a brand new truck. So come on out to our new location on the Southeast Loop and check out all our inventory and give Elliott Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a chance to earn your business. And remember, only $23.9 for a brand new Ram at Elliott's. CDJR of Carthage. Does your windshield have a crack or rock chip that makes the visibility a challenge? Did the door glass on your car quit rolling up or down? Monroe Brothers Auto Glass can solve your problems. Whether it's a small car, truck, 18-wheeler, or RV, glass is our thing as we offer mobile or in-house glass replacements and repairs. You can trust Monroe Brothers Auto Glass to perform a safe and timely repair with a competitive price. Just come see us at 1480 U.S. Highway 59 North or give us a call at 903-690-6806. All right, now it is going to be for the Carthage Bulldogs, third down and two, third down and two from our 17-yard line. Third down and two. Okay, Horton, under, I mean, uh, in the shotgun, we have a flag. Ball start, Carthage. Well, it looks like the guy on the side looked like me. He said pointed timeout, Carthage. But Oh, timeout, Carthage. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay, we'll take a break. Does your windshield have a crack or rock chip that makes the visibility a challenge? Did the door glass on your car quit rolling up or down? Monroe Brothers Auto Glass can solve your problems. Whether it's a small car, truck, 18-wheeler, or RV, glass is our thing as we offer mobile or in-house glass replacements and repairs. You can trust Monroe Brothers Auto Glass to perform a safe and timely repair with a competitive price. Just come see us at 1480 U.S. Highway 59 North or give us a call at 903-690-6806. Where are you listening from tonight? 903-692-3836. That's KJS 692-3836. Okay, Mark was correct. It was not a penalty against the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs called a timeout. That is our first. Uh, so a uh, little bit unusual. You come out of the quarter break and you have to call a timeout. I don't think Coach Surratt would be very happy about that. Uh, and again, Chalk Talk every Monday at noon at the field house. Uh, the crowd, the, uh, the attendance is increasing just about every week. And, uh, you know, as we get into district play, heading toward the playoffs, you know it's going to pick up even more. All right, the Bulldogs now third down and two uh, at their own 17-yard line, uh, going from our left to right here in the second quarter. And uh, Horton is going to drop back into the shotgun. 
He's got two backs with him in the backfield. There's a snap back to him. Handoff goes to Courtney. Courtney coming right to the 20. Courtney out to the 25-yard line. That's going to be a house AC first Number down, a gain of eight for Mason Courtney. And got a good block from his backfield mate, Jaden Thomas. Hey, guys, I was going to tell you, uh, scores from the district, Palestine leading Henderson 7-0 in the first quarter and Kilgore leading Chapel Hill 14-0 in the first. Okay, again, next week the Bulldogs will be at home, first time at home in four weeks, and it will be homecoming against the Chapel Hill Bulldogs. Hope you can come out and support the dogs. And uh, let's hope that they're 6-0 and at that point. Okay, now first and 10 at our own 25-yard line. Horton under center this time, tied in over on the left side. Horton. This time hands off to the running back. This is Thomas going left. Thomas, not much there. Uh, picked, I don't think he picked up a yard. Picked up about a foot on the play. We'll call it second down and 10. Looked like they had an all-out blitz there. I mean, everybody yep. had a gap. Yep. They doing a lot of uh, run, run blitzing on first downs. We tried to run the fly sweep motion with Moochie and hope to influence him, but didn't trick him. Okay, we'll give him one. We'll give him one to the 26, so it's second and nine now for Carthage from the 26th. The ball is on the left hash. And uh, let's see, we have Horton going to be in the shotgun. we got two receivers to the right. Snap back to Horton. Horton looking right. He throws right. This ball is caught by Thomas. Thomas with some running room to the 30, and then it quickly closes up. He gets, however, to the 31 for a gain of five. It'll be third down and four for Carthage from their 31. Yep, that was a good read by the quarterback. You know, they, they left uh, Thomas uncovered. He got it to him, and they, they rallied pretty quickly. They're pretty quick. So it's third down and four. Third and four for the Bulldogs from their own 31-yard line. Third and four from their 31. This time the ball is on the right hash. Horton with 13 seconds left on the play clock. Now snap to him. Horton. Looking left, looking left, good protection. Now it's breaking down. He rolls to his left, and he's going to go deep down the middle for Montreal Smith. This ball is picked off. Nope, no, it's incomplete. It. He dropped it. He had a chance to come up with it, but it was dropped at the van 25-yard line. That was a great play by Contreras, uh, Contreras Smith to, to knock that ball loose. Well, they're slushing the quarterback out to his left. Yeah, but they ha he had Thomas open again. No, nobody went with him. He just didn't see him. All right, so that makes it now fourth and four. Bulldogs uh, with fourth and four from their own 31. And if you know Scott Surratt, you know he doesn't mind going for it in his end of the field. And looks like he's going to do it right here. Okay, he's got Thomas with him in the backfield. Okay, now Thomas splits out empty backfield here on this fourth down play, and we have to call a timeout. We'll take a break. Throughout Texas, Louisiana, and New Mexico, one of the largest independent oil field service companies is Penergy, ranked number one in the United States for total number of wells drilled. You'll likely recognize Penergy Carthage top management, Randy Taylor, Brandon Taylor, Andy Snow, Justin Taylor, and Steve Nations. At the Austin Corporate Office, senior management offers a combined 400 years experience regarding energy services. No more. Check the website, Penergy.com, or call 903-693-8400. Penergy. If you need construction done, check with Carlos and Shane Courtney at Courtney Construction Incorporated. They're the best in the business, whether it's pipeline or dirt work, oil field maintenance or general construction, the Courtneys are well experienced. Call them at 903-694-2911 or drop by 1300 Northeast Loop in Carthage. When you need it done right, call Courtney Construction Incorporated. They'll get it done. Coach Surratt quite animated during that timeout. He was not a happy camper. Fourth down and four for the Bulldogs from their own 31-yard line. We're down to one timeout. Horton in the shotgun. Wait for the snap. 25 seconds left on the play clock, and it's not rolling. Now it is down to 23. So we've got plenty of time there. 9.45 left to play in the half. Carthage up 7-0 here at Van Memorial Stadium. Empty backfield for the Bulldogs on fourth and four. Snap back to Horton. He's looking right. He throws right. This ball is tipped away, incomplete. And Van Hose, they will take over if there's no flag on the Carthage 31-yard line. Well, they kind of tricked us on that. Uh, he, he threw hot because those two outside backers faked like they was coming on the blitz. Then they bail out at the last second and got in the throwing lane. 
Plus, we had two receivers right together. I don't know if that was meant to be, uh, but it didn't work out. All right, so after the failed fourth down pass, uh, the Van Vandals take over in great field position. At the Carthage 31 yard line, this is their best field position of the ball game. Okay, here's a snap back to the quarterback. Hands off to on the end around to a player going to his right and he stopped Bobo. for a big loss. That was a huge loss there as they handed off to Thomas and he was dropped for a loss of about nine yards. We have yet to see that quarterback run, have we? Yeah, that was a great play by Bobo. Sure was. That was Javante Thomas, their leading receiver for the year, who has played some at quarterback this year. And he's tackled for a nine-yard loss. Loss of nine, it'll be. So, down incidentally, Van on the ground so far, minus seven yards on four carries. So now it's second down and 19 for the Vandals from their own, from the Carthage 40-yard line. Snap back to the quarterback. Quarterback this time wants to go with the screen left. He catch, he throws it and is caught, and the receiver slips down immediately for just a one-yard gain. <laughs> Looked like they had that set up good. They had the perfect play call because we, we came out on the blitz. They had... Owen split out, and he came in, and had that, they had the perfect play against us, but they fell down with it. It's a so big it, play right here. So it's just a one-yard gain, so that makes it now third down and 18. Third and 18 for, Carth for Van, third and 18 for the Vandals from the Bulldog 39-yard line. Empty backfield for Van. Twins to the right, trips left. Here's a quarterback, pretty good protection, throws over the middle. This ball is tipped away and almost intercepted by the Bulldogs. One of our Bulldogs got their hands on it, and it went up in the air. Another one dove for it, incomplete pass, fourth down, 18. It was Javon King that got his hands on it, and he popped it up in there, and we almost picked it off on the rebound. All right, so Van's going to send out the punting unit. The line of scrimmage is the Bulldog 39. I doubt that we'll send anybody back on this, uh, making sure it's not a fake. But he's kept them in the game so far, the punter has. So this, now remember now he's going into the win. He takes a 10-yard takes a drop. Waist high snap, gets off the kick, another line drive kick. His own and, player. And that hit the player, didn't it? It did. Okay, hit him at the 17-yard line, so that's going to be a, 22-yard kick, and Carthage will have it at their own 17. And will ring that average down a little bit. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, he was averaging 57 yards per kick before that one. All right, so Carthage with it now, first and 10, with the win that is here. What win there is, Carthage has it at their back now here in the second quarter, leading 7 to nothing. the ball on the Carthage 17-yard line. Okay, Horton's going to go under center. He's got two receivers left and one to the right. Tail back behind him. And here's the handoff. It goes to Courtney. Courtney lifts that big hole. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Midfield across midfield to the Van 48-yard line. A big play there for the Dogs. And again, they brought that first down blitz, and we uh, ran right past them. Right a big hole right up the middle, and I think part of Moochie going in motion was a part of that too. Yeah. How's AC first down, a 34-yard gain from Mason Courtney to the Van 49-yard line. Snap back Ooh. to Horton. He bobbles it, now picks it up. He's going to run with it himself, goes right, and he's out of bounds after picking up four yards, Number running 12. right in toward the Van bench. Pick up a four, second and six. Looked like a little bit of a late hit, or he went after his legs. I thought that was unfair. Well, that was a rocket snap, and it was a little bit off center, so they, he did a great job of catching it, and he got what he could get. Okay, let's see who's at center. I think it's Ben yep. Connor Davis. Yes, Davis. Okay, all right. Davis, of course, started the first four games. Last week it was T. Kellum uh, when we had the big uh, rotation of offensive linemen, but Davis is back there again. All right, so this time we spend two receivers to the left. That's McNew and Williams. Dixon split right. He goes motion left. Snap back to Horton. He's going to throw to Dixon. Dixon drops it, and it'll be an incomplete pass. That's Wade. Was that uh, Wade, Braden Wade? Okay. All he right. just led him a little too much. Yeah, and had a lot of smoke on that one, too. Now, if you go to Chalk Talk, what you're going to see on a play like that is you may think, well, that was the quarterback's um, fault, and sometimes it is, but it could be that the receiver was in the wrong spot for the design play. In other words, he should have been up field more or back more. I, you know, it's hard come to, to Chalk Talk and you'll find out. 
He'll sure tell you, won't he? Oh, for sure. Without a doubt on that. Third down and six. Coach uh, Surratt brutally frank at Chalk Talk. You know, if we make a great play, you'll know it. If we uh, screw up, he'll tell you. Here's a handoff. It goes to Dixon. Dixon coming to the right, and he tries to uh, walk the chalk line there, but only picks up one yard on that end of round, and that's going to be a gain of one, fourth and five for Carthage. Just ran out of real estate, ran that fly sweep, um, short side of the field. But they defensed that pretty well, too. They had good pursuit. So it's fourth down and five, fourth and five for Carthage from the van 46-yard line. 44-yard line, pardon me, 44. All right, 6.56 to play here in the first half. Carthage leading 7-0, fourth and five from the van, 44. They're threatening the blitz. Got two linebackers up. But they fooled us last time on fourth down. They did that, then they bailed. All right, snap back to Horton, and we've got timeout called by the Bulldogs. They used their last timeout of the half. We'll take a break. How's air conditioning and electrical? Is Ralph there? Well, what's Ralph look like? Is Ralph your dog? He's a Dalmatian. Well, why would he be here at Hal's Air Conditioning and Electrical? You always say you have something for everyone. Well, we do. We can help with all your heating, cooling, and electrical repair needs. We install new systems and whole home generators, too. But maybe you should look out in your backyard for Ralph. I'll just call his cell phone. Since 1974, we've got something for everyone. Hal's Air Conditioning and Electrical. Call 903-693-7451. All right, we're back here at Van Memorial Stadium. Incidentally, Memorial Stadium, they have a chair down on the front row of this uh, side of the field, the home stands, and uh, it's right on the about the 50-yard line, and they have it roped off, and it is vacant. It is a memorial to prisoners of wars and uh, POYs and uh, missing in action, MIAs, and uh, just a, sort of a memorial or an honor uh, to those who have, uh, be again, been missing in action and prisoners of war, uh, indicating, you know, that they are proud of the service that they uh, rendered to our country. Yeah, actually, what they're doing to is a really good strategy. As you see, the uh, quarterback's looking over to the sideline, and once he gets to play, all and right, now they're putting it all on the quarterback. Here's the fourth and five pass left, and this ball is incomplete. It was intended for Kevante Dixon. And Dixon had to turn back the other direction at the last minute. Dove for it, couldn't quite get it. Van takes over at their 44. Well, that would have been a perfect throw, and he almost caught it anyway. <laughs> he did. So Horton now, let's see. He was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of his first nine for 99. He's gone 0 for 4 with his last four attempts. First down and 10 for Van from their own 44. 6.49 left to play here in the half. And uh, Jason, we'll go back down to you after this very next play. Jason Wade on the sideline with the XL forward sideline mic. We'll go down to Jason right after this one. First and 10, Van from their own 44. Ball on the left hash this time. Quarterback in the shotgun. And he's going to have up the running back, running back up the middle. And the running back picks up five yards, going straight up the middle. All right, down to Jason Wade. Yeah, on that last play, on that last play, Larry, uh, I was standing right there. Cavante was wide open, uh, just uh, turned the wrong way. And uh, he was very frustrated, went to the sideline, and Coach Rat told, uh, told Dixon, said, said, you got to look up, not back, or something like that. And he went on to the sideline, and very frustrating because uh, that would have been a big play. All right, six-yard gain there on that run. On first down, so they pick up six yards on first down. Now it's second down and four for the Vandals at midfield. The ball just across the 50. All right, the quarterback in the shotgun snap back to him. Here we come on the blitz. They throw to the right. This ball is caught. It's going to be a first down as they throw to Thomas, their leading receiver, and he needed four, and he picks up seven on the play for a first down. Stopped by Bobo. They're listening from Fire Mound, Texas, Nash, Texas, Broken Bow, Oklahoma. That's listening to KGAS. That's a seven-yard completion, only the second first down of the ball game for the Vandals. We have 5.50 left to play here in the half. Carthage leading seven to nothing over the Vandals. All right, now let's see. The quarterback's going to be in the shotgun. We've got a three-man defensive front. They have uh, three receivers to the left and one to the right. There's a back in the backfield with the quarterback. 
Standing to the right of the quarterback. Now he goes over to the left side. Snap back to the quarterback. Quarterback throws left. This ball is caught, and he is downed immediately. That is Thomas, and on top of him was Javon King with the tackle immediately. And Bobo threw that play off. Yes, he did. But that was a good trigger by a safety man, Javon King. Oh, okay. He dropped it, didn't he? Yes. yes. Okay, all right. He dropped it. My mistake. I thought it was completed, but it was dropped after the big hit there by Javon King. Now, that was King, wasn't it? Yes. yes. Okay, all right. Okay, so it's now third, it's second, second down, pardon me, second down and 10 for Van from the Bulldog 43. Second and 10, the quarterback in the shotgun again, snap back to him. This time hands off to the running back over the left side. He's got some running room across the 40 and close to the 35, so he's going to have a gain on the play of seven yards. It'll be third down and three for Van. They'll have third and three for the dog 36. Jakevian Tool on the stop. That was a good offensive push by them at that point. It was. Yeah, they, they won a line of scrimmage on that one for sure. So third down and three for Van from the Carthage 36. 4.58 left to play here in the first quarter. The Vandals with the football. Carthage leading 7 to nothing. if you've just joined us. Snap back to the quarterback. He rolls to his right. He's going to throw right. This ball is incomplete out there, so it's no, going to bring up fourth down and it was, three. It's a penalty. Oh, that, penalty on the play. It's okay. Be legal procedure. Okay. False start. False start against Van. And so that will be their second penalty of the ball game for 10 yards. And so that moves it back to the 41 yard line. All right, 41 yard line, making it down third down and eight. Third down and eight for Van from the Carthage 41. Clock is running. Incidentally, last night the Carthage JV won 20 to 13. The freshman won 35 14, and the junior high won two. Had a tie and lost one. And let's see. Now we're going to have Van calling a timeout. We'll take a break here also. Seven to nothing, Carthage. Pritchard and Abbott Incorporated are evaluating consultants. What does that mean? They appraise minerals, industrial, utility properties, and data services. From their evaluations of a net worth, fair taxes can be levied. Pritchard and Abbott Incorporated doing their part to be a good neighbor and helping our part of the world stay strong and solvent. Pritchard and Abbott Incorporated evaluating consultants. XL Ford is always your place to go for quality pre-owned vehicles. We have pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and everything in between to meet your needs. If you're looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle, XL Ford has you covered. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff is here to help you find the car you deserve price to fit your budget. We'll help you every step of the way to make sure you're satisfied with your pre-owned vehicle. Come down today and take a test drive today. Excellent price, excellent selection, and excellent service after the sale. Visit us at XL Ford on the Southeast Loop in Carthage, Texas. Carthage Bulldogs at home next th Friday night against the Chapel Hill Bulldogs. It is homecoming. We've got two regular season home games left, Chapel Hill and Henderson in three weeks. Henderson in three weeks, Chapel Hill next week. All right, it is now third down and eight for the Vandals, and it's at the Carthage 41-yard line. Third down and eight. Looks like we're coming with the blitz. Here we come. He throws. This ball is caught on the right side, and it is to the 35. They're going to have a first down on this play. They needed about eight yards. And they pick up about 10. Jai Brazier on the stop. That's a good play. Yeah, and that was a good move by the receiver after the catch. So they pick up nine yards. The line of scrimmage will now be the 32. And the clock is now rolling. And we have now gone just under right now four minutes left here in the first half. Four minutes left in the first half. We have no timeouts. Van has one remaining. All right, first and 10 for Van from the Carthage 32. Thomas in the backfield. He gets the handoff. Thomas up the middle, and he's across the 30 and down to about the 27. So that's going to be a gain of five. It'll be second down and five. I'll tell you, he's slippery. He sure is. Lister got him a shoestring, and Bobo finished him up. All right, remember, they've got one timeout left, so plenty of time here. Uh, 3.20 left to play in the half. Carthage leading by a score of seven to nothing. All right, we have had an injury tonight for the Bulldogs. All right, now it's 
Second down and 10 seconds on the play clock. He's going to throw. This ball is caught across the 25. Going to be close to the first down. I think he's going to be a yard shy. They needed five yards, and they got four on that pass play. It's going to bring up third down and one at the 28. The quarterback is really managing a good game so mm -hmm. far for them. Yeah. Pardon me, the 23. That's a good stop by Austin Morgan. Third down and one for Van at the Carthage 23. We're now under three minutes to go. In fact, we're down to 235 and counting. 235, 232 left to go here in the second quarter. Carthage leading 7-0, third down and one. All right, here's the quarterback. He's going to run it himself, and he has a first down to the 21-yard line. Make it the 20. So he needed one. He picks up three yards. They'll move the chain. Now, that wasn't their regular quarterback. That was number five. Okay, that's, the, that's their leading receiver. That's right, Javante Thomas. Now the regular quarterback's back in. Okay. And, again, I'm so sorry. I do not have a Van roster. I asked uh, several times for one, and they said they'd bring one. They did not. Uh, so Van with it now. First down and 10 at the Carthage 20-yard line. Two minutes left to play here in the first half. Carthage leading 7 0. Snap back to the quarterback. He hands off to the running back up the middle, and we came with a blitz, and someone got him by a shoestring. It's a good thing he did. Gain of two on the play, second down and eight. Yeah, that was Rayvon Ingram, middle linebacker. We got one down for them right now. Carthage ahead, 7 0. We'll be right back. First, State Bank and Trust advances banking convenience with its new mobile app. Download the fsb and mobile app and realize the full potential of 21st century on-the-go banking technology. At your fingertips, deposit checks, view real-time balances and account histories, transfer funds in your accounts, and pay bills 24-7. You can contact customer service from the app if needed during regular business hours. On-the-go, on-the-phone banking tech from your trusted FDIC member equal housing lender, First State Bank and Trust. This is Pastor Monty Pierce along with all the fine folks at Central Baptist Church located one block off the square in beautiful downtown Carthage. We hope you are enjoying the game as the Bulldogs make another exciting run for the championship. If you don't have a church home and you like friendly folks and a meaningful worship service, we invite you to join us this Sunday. Check us out at centralcarthage.com for times and more information. This is Dr. Monty. Go Bulldogs! All right, the injured player this time is for Van. He's walking off the field, and it just hit me. I think Bobby Bain, I remember that name. He may have been the referee that was inducted into the East Texas Coaches Association Hall of Honor this past uh, winter uh, at the same time that Coach Serac, Coach Trailer, and Coach King were inducted. I think they induct a, an official every time, and I think it may have been uh, tonight's referee, Bobby Bain. Okay, so we're now ready to play again. Bobby Bain winds the right arm and the clock starts up a minute 40 left to play now in the half the clock is rolling it is second down and eight second and eight for van at the carthage 18. carthage up seven to nothing but van threatening again at the carthage 18 yard line they're now down to five seconds left on the play clock it's down to three two one at zero but they get it off and here's a handoff no it's going to be a flag on them no, timeout. A timeout? Okay, they got the timeout. That's their last one. We'll take a break. East Texas is a wonderful community, and at Panola National Bank, we're proud to call it home. That's why you'll find our bank and our employees helping others wherever you look. From supporting local schools to volunteering with local charity events, we're part of the fabric that weaves the community and its people together. When it comes to financial service needs, local is better. We provide convenient banking services so we can help our community grow. Panola National Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Monty Bacon at Carthage Furniture is offering refrigerators at great savings. Choose a 16 cubic foot refrigerator in white or black priced for you at $5.99 or an 18 cubic foot refrigerator with a white finish or black finish just $6.49. If you ever need a refrigerator, Monty says this is the time to buy. Carthage Furniture, the huge store behind the car wash. Carthage Furniture on West Panola across from the Sonic where Rosa speak Spanish. All right. Well, now Van is out of timeouts. Uh, second down and eight for the Vandals at the Carthage 18-yard line. One fifteen left to play in the half. Now, I'm not an official, but I think I know that's the back judge responsibility, and I think he's talked to 
once he sees zero, then he looks to see if the play is, if it's been snapped. If it hasn't, then he throws the flag. All right, so they avoid the penalty with the timeout. Neither team has a timeout remaining. All right, the quarterback looking over toward his bench to get an update on the call. 15 seconds left on the play clock. Second and eight for Van from the Carthage 18 yard line. Carthage up seven to nothing. Snap back to the quarterback. Here we come with a blitz. They throw over the middle, incomplete. We came with a blitz and forced him to hurry the throw. Incomplete, now third and eight. Ooh, great call at that <laughs> it point. It was. Had Jai Brazier in there on the blitz. They tried to throw the middle screen, just didn't, didn't get it off fast, good enough. So now it's third down and eight. And from this spot right here, now if they don't complete this pass, then it would be a 35-yard field goal, and there would be some resistance from the wind. So they may be in four-down territory right here. 112 left to play now in the half. Third down and eight. The dogs need two big, two more big stops right here. Snap back to the quarterback, looking left, going into the end zone. This ball is intercepted, intercepted by the Bulldogs. Picked Miles off by one Halton. of the dogs. Did he drop it? No. no. Miles Halton. Halton with the interception. So wow. It, Big play. So it was in the end zone? Yes. Because yes. I yes. can't see from my yes. viewpoint. All right. So both teams now have one turnover. And Carthage with 105 left and no timeouts takes over at their 20. You know, our defense is really stingy. It is. They do not want to give up points. Again, Pleasant Grove, uh, I, Pleasant Grove was averaging over 40 points per ball game. I think it was 44, and they got 14 last week. Mm. Our defense giving up just over eight points per ball game. Carthage leading here seven to nothing. All right, now Horton's going to be in the shotgun. First and 10 for Carthage at our 20 with no timeouts in a minute, five on the clock. Snap back to Horton. Horton looking, he's looking, and he's going to be sacked. Looking the protection pretty good at first, then it broke down, and it's a loss back to the 12-yard line. It'll be a loss of eight on the play. It'll be second and 18 from our 12. Neither team has a timeout. Now, do we have a man on this side wide open, or did he just all cover? He didn't see him. You know, that... If you want to call it a coverage sack, I mean, you can't protect all day. He took two hitches and before he got sacked. So. Okay, loss of seven, so it's now second down and 17. Snap back to Horton. Horton looking to the right. Now he throws back left on the screen. Okay, to Courtney. Courtney to the 20. Courtney to the 25, to the 30, across the 30. And we needed 17 yards, and we pick up about 19 for Hal's AC first down. 23 seconds left to play in the first half. Courtney's been a main factor tonight. Two good plays. All right, first and 10 now from our own 31. Here's Horton. I mean, yes, Horton looking to throw. Now he's going to throw to the right, and this ball is going to be caught there for another house AC first down to Courtney to the 46-yard line. A gain of 15 more. It's a workhorse now. Yeah, we need to down this one. And we do clock it. At the 41-yard uh, line to stop it with six seconds to go in the half. Make it to the 47-yard line. So it's at the 47. We got six seconds left on the clock and no timeouts. And they're almost in the end zone on defense. So they're going to drop, uh, let's see, they've got three players. Make it now four. They've got five. They're a drop back uh, about 40 yards. They're back at the 15-yard line. Horton going to be in the shotgun. They're going to rush only three guys, only three defensive linemen. They're going to rush, and we've got three receivers to the left. Here's a Hail Mary coming up. Horton looking, looking, looking. He's throwing deep. This ball is going to be knocked down. It's going to be incomplete, and that is the end of the half with the score of Carthage 7 and Van nothing. And let's go down to XL Ford sideline Mike, Jason Wade, hopefully with Coach Surratt. Okay, Jason. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm working my way here with Coach Serratis. He's, he's walking a little slow. He's got a few things to say to some of the players. But he